So for those who don't know, Blase Bonobos was actually my first singular purchase. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. This, everyone, this is Peening coming to you from Boulder, Colorado for the Kusumarian. I'm here with J-Dubs. He is the co-founder of Blase Bonobos. You may have seen him in my profile pic. You're actually very involved in the ecosystem, way beyond just the Blase Bonobos. So yep. could you introduce yourself? Uh, so as you mentioned, J-Dubs got into crypto back in early 2021. NFTs actually were what got me sort of interested. Oh, in wow. To be honest, it was about like, oh, people making a lot of money on NFTs. Maybe I yeah. should dabble in this. Started with Ethereum and I went, oh my gosh, this is expensive. <laughs> I can't believe how expensive it is to mint That's something. Right. And this was back in 2021 and F hadn't even come to its peak yet. Yeah. Ended up stumbling on the Polkadot ecosystem through mm -hmm. Darwinia because I started looking at running validators. Oh, interesting. I've got a tech background. I love okay. computers. Uh, so the idea of running a validator got started to get... In, interesting me. yeah well it started with just any okay. validator and found darwinia because it was a little um not as costly to get involved on a validator with them because it was proof of stake you uh -huh. uh, didn't need much to launch it yeah and, yeah that led me into polka dot in, wow. in kusama from there it's been like i've really immersed myself in polka dot kusama because yeah. it really it made a lot of sense yeah uh, back yeah. when ethereum was uh proof of work and expensive is like Still proof expensive. Of, yeah, still expensive. <laughs> but this proof of stake stuff made a lot of sense. And it was like, okay, this is going to be a lot easier. And then the idea of Polkadot and the ability to add on change, plug and play. The, so how did the Blase Bonobos <laughs> come to be though? Well, okay. So that one got involved with Chaos Now. Had an idea to mimic uh, Board Ape Yacht Club of like course, everybody else. <laughs> and Vox replied to me on there. And from there, we started talking. Within a day, he had knocked out this really cool model of more of a, a realistic looking ape. A bonobo is what he used as a base. Nice. And we were like, okay, so what do we want to do here? Blase Bonobos. And then it's like, what do we want, what, what do we want to do as an idea? And that was, you know, okay, let's do the Space Force because Kusama is like this more futuristic kind yeah, of thing that's right. and the idea that you have this central hub and then all these chains is more like almost like planets like you're exploring mm -hmm. an ecosystem so we went from there and this was right around the time crowd loan auctions were starting to happen uh, and we were like oh this hey let's base it off of who's who wins and the rankings were based off of whether it was like when it was a crowd loan version oh. and then when it was when they won I did not know Yeah, that. <laughs> so we had a little bit of a balance there to sort of differentiate and that you also notice like the ones that are the crowd loan ones aren't quite as, you know, blinged out. For those who don't know who Vox is, do yeah. you mind quickly? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> Voxel, and he's going to hate me for talking about this. He <laughs> likes to stay in the background. Voxel uh, is just this amazing graphic artist person, but that's not what he really does. It's sort of like a side thing. He calls himself a computer vision engineer. Okay. And he is, his brain works in just amazing ways when it comes to computers, when it comes to tech. He always blows my mind with what he does. And he just will pop something out really quick. And I'm like, where did you come up with that? Where did you <laughs> learn that? How do you have the time to do this? Very down to earth, very hardworking. And when he gets going on something, he goes in deep. Yeah. It's just awesome to see. He's kind of become one of the de facto artists in the Moonsama ecosystem. Is that right? I, I don't know if I would call him the artist, but he's mm -hmm. more of the architect. Architect. Oh. Yeah, because he's got such a great vision. And mm -hmm. I think his new role is chief ecosystem officer or something like that. Or just he's, he's helping grow the ecosystem now. I see. And building on that. And it's really interesting. And, you know, it really plays to his strengths. You know, they're wanting to see grow and build uh -huh. on chain. Moon Buddies is one of them. Oh, that's right. I heard about that. Yeah. Back to Blase Bonobos. Mm -hmm. The original, it was just a PFP art collection yep. for people to rep themselves yep. when it started. And then it started to evolve. There was some talk about like a game that mm -hmm. might come out. Can you... Tell us what's been happening. Moving on to like functionality, moving on to the idea of what can we do next? At the time, you know, Vox was getting more involved with Muzama. So we, we looked at uh, what can we do to sort of move into that next chapter? We brought on under graphics mm -hmm. and then after that brought on Candyman and Andre OGD. And we developed our next, you know, started working on the art, the next collection. We definitely would like to do some sort of uh, customizer. And that's, you know, uh, mm. what you guys have seen, what's been sort of leaked out there that we've put out is you see like armor and stuff on these new ones. And that's going to be all composable. Nice. Um, so what's been holding us up this long time, not only the team's involvement with Moonsama, but the, the fact that we're waiting to really get the tech there you know, yeah. like, where are we going to yeah. do this you know now we're okay moon sama makes sense to do it on their chain do we have what we want tech wise yeah can we deliver something that's a, a more of a utility yeah something that is not just a pfe i already have like tons of questions <laughs> <laughs> what nft standard are they using is it on the moon sama equipable composable nft standard they're making or uh i mean that's 
part of what we're trying to figure out is what's going to be wor- what's going to be best. Should we mm-hmm. build our own customizer, yeah. or should we wait? You know, we, we've been waiting for a while for the Munsama customizer because I know they're yeah. going to. They, there's been talk about opening that up for yeah. other projects. One of the things we're holding on is like what makes the most sense with the limited t- re- time and resources yeah. the team yeah. has. So again, we don't want to drop a PFP collection and just yeah. you know, just do that and not have anything for anybody for a little while. So we'd rather wait and have a utility, have sure. something that. People can say, yeah, well, here's what I can do with this. Yeah. What do you mean by utility? Because that word is thrown around a lot. <laughs> well, that's the thing is we're trying to figure that out. Not just cu- the customizer, right? Yeah. I mean, the customizer is cool. Yeah. If you can like mix and max, put out um, different accessories and things like that. We've mm-hmm. thrown around a lot of ideas and nothing's really ready, you know, because we want to be multi-metaverse because the idea of the oh, okay. Space Force is be able to go anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if we can, you know, say, be able to connect and go into a a metaverse on Astar or a metaverse on Munsama or a metaverse on another chain, Mm -hmm. you know, can that get you, can that be something special there? We have all these ideas. How do we make them reality? Yeah. And how do we make them reality with the time we have? There's a lot of connection with the Munsama ecosystem. And Munsama is planning on launching, from what I understand, like just tons of games, like Mm -hmm. this whole platform for Mm -hmm. gaming. Can you give us any information about possible integration of I mean, that's, we would love to do that. I mean, yeah. that's, you know, my hope would, Munsama in the gaming platform would be that because it's all connected through the Munsama gaming platform, that you would be able to bring different collections into any of those games. Mm-hmm. And so it's not just, and this is my, my hope. I, I have no idea if this is, you know, where they're going. I mean, <laughs> I hope that's where they're going. So I don't want to say anything that is untrue about yeah. what they're doing because sure. I am not part of the team. Yeah. So... Just speculating and hoping. Yeah, spe- speculating and hoping. Yeah, you know, there's a good chance that we could get some time in the in the future to sort of put together our own game. I mean, we everybody knows Vox is working on Gromlin Card. Yeah. Well, maybe after Gromlin Card, he might have time and we could do something that's more Blase Bonobo related. I can't say that we will. It's just a matter of what's coming around the corner and what keeps people busy and uh, what the priorities are. You were voted into Rare Sama. Mm-hmm. I assume that means some kind of migration. Mm-hmm. Do you have a timeline for that? Well, I, we haven't talked about migrating the OGs. Um, okay. What's with what's changing on Singular right now? I want to see what happens there. I think the other guys are the same, um, but the second the second collection will be on Moonsama. You know, if you look at them, they're all all new. Yeah, they mm-hmm. look a lot different. If you've seen them on Twitter, oh, they won't even carry the traits of the old. No, nope, they're they're wow. they're slightly different. Um, you know, we've got a couple of different DNAs in there. We've uh-huh. got different accessories. There's this, you know, idea of like again swappable accessories, but there's mm-hmm. accessories defined based on the DNA that of you know the, d- the different bonobos. Wow. So how will the the OG collectors <laughs> uh, be treated in this situation? Um, so everyone will get airdropped uh, a new, one of the new ones. Uh-huh. Uh, for every bonobo you hold, you get one of the new ones. And that's a random? Yeah, like, it's just random. Uh, there's really the rarity is going to come out of the fact of what accessories you end up with, right? I see. Um, we are planning, like, we have 10 that we're going to do that are uh, collabs with OG singular artists where the, the texture of the skin on them is going to be special. It's going to be done based off of their article, uh, the, the way they do things. And we might do some cooler accessories that go along with those so they'll yeah, be a little special those will exciting. be <laughs> those will be auctioned uh separately but mm-hmm. when the collection releases like as we mentioned 500 so about 490 of those will mm-hmm. be well actually yeah 490 will be uh, available with the airdropped ones to all of the existing holders of ogs and also including like candy's collection mm-hmm. Andre's collection and Anders, Anders yeah. collection. So for those who don't know, Blase Bonobos was actually my first singular purchase. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. That's what got me into the Kusama Polka wow. NFT community. I feel We feel special. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, I'm, when I'm thinking about it, I might have bought a random something small. But okay. when it comes to significant purchase, it's just kind of been my avatar yeah for, ever since basically and it's been it's been great to you know see you know somebody <laughs> using that as an avatar for so long and using that as a pfp it's it's yeah, been fun it's dear to my heart now <laughs> <laughs> creators hate this question um but general timeline if you had to set one what kind of time frame are we looking at um i'm hoping i mean we were getting really close to dropping the the next section the next group um a few months, uh, like a month or two ago, but then um, the team got busy on something that was that's really important, 
and didn't want to take away from that. Mm -hmm. And on right now in Rare Sama, you can't, it's really hard to do a 500 piece collection. Yeah. Um, I know I've heard uh, rumblings that the, the team is working on an, getting that so that there's bulk minting, there's mm -hmm. off-chain minting, or not off-chain, sorry, um, off-rare summon minting with a smart contract and then you can import in. Mm -hmm. Those are things I've heard uh, should be coming down the line at some point. I see. And, so you're talking about a mass minter, basically, yeah. with some randomization yeah. elements. Well, and, and we've already done our randomization, so we have... Oh, okay. um, we have the NFTs ready and we have the metadata ready. Okay. It's a matter of, you know, just that random allocation. Yeah. You know, and using a random uh transparently you know, random. <laughs> yeah. It was random as you can get. I mean, nothing's yeah. truly random on chain. You yeah. you say it is, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping and again, I you know, the guys may kill me for this. Sometime this summer. Um, okay. you know, hopefully it's early, early, early summer, we can get it out and then start working on, um, accessories and stuff like that. And again, then we'll have a better idea of like the customizer we can use and mm -hmm. do we need to build our own or do we need to, yeah. or is, can we use what's out there? Yeah. Not to put you on the spot too much, but as I summarize this, from what I understand, we've got PFP with some playful elements of mm -hmm. customization, mm -hmm. uh, and then hopefully a future utility that you right now may not have you might have an idea but you may not be able to say or you're still working through the details of it's more working through the details of, okay. the, of that utility and and it's more of not a singular utility it's more mm -hmm. of utilities uh we want to be able to have people be able to walk around yeah. with their bonobo in a metaverse and not just one i mean that that's the grand idea is like multiple metaverses i know like astar is building a uh, you know, there's going to be um, a metaverse on Astar. There's Bit.Country. I mean, it would be so cool to be able to have your avatar in any of those. Like, yeah, you're not restricted yeah. to just a singular uh, metaverse because of the fact that you know, on Polkadot and Kusama, you have this ability to communicate back and forth. Because XCM isn't just about transfers, it's about messaging, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so you could say a message of, I own this on this chain, I'd like to use this. And so it can then use an XCM message to go pull the uh, metadata, true, true, pull true, the true, image, true. pull yeah. the information, it put it in. Exist there, yeah, it, it can just move back and forth. The yeah. beauty of XCM. Is there anything you want to share with either the community or just drop any information that we haven't discussed mm. yet? I'm just I want to say, you know, we're really appreciative of the, uh, the Blase Bonobo community being patient with us. That is really huge. And I know we've said a lot of, you know, like, oh, we're going to do this and we, hey, maybe there's going to be this. And it's been, and we've been really quiet. And um, I know it's sort of for the guys on the team, especially like Under and Andre and Candy and myself and, and Vox is just, we, we want to do something, but it's just, there's a lot of other stuff that's come up in the front um, that's been really important. And it sort of takes a forefront, and this has you know been more of like a passion project for us on the side, and yeah. so it's it's one of those things when you're always trying to balance everything, and especially some of us who also have to work day jobs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that crypto is not our entire life. That's right. And so you, you get that balance in there, and it's and in just the appreciation of the patience and yeah. people still being interested. Yeah. After all this time, and it shows that we did build a good community, and we want to keep it that way. We want to yeah. keep it where people are still interested in Blazer Bonobos. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I honestly, I've been pretty shocked by how patient everyone is. Like, <laughs> every once in a while, every like three months, so yeah. I go, hey, what's up? And you yeah. give them a little update and they're like, okay. Because they see you building in other areas, yeah. I think, too. They see mm. you very engaged and active. Yeah. So people know that you're still you're still around. Yeah, right? we, yeah, we didn't disappear. We just <laughs> we maybe bit off a lot more than we could chew. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, very thankful for the time that you've given mm -hmm. me. I'm so glad we could meet up and hang out a little yeah. bit. So it's always fun. Uh, it's fun to do this and uh, fun to meet people in the crypto in real life. Absolutely. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone. Thank you.